you know, this seminar is going to be a, a little bit different. You know, uh, <clears throat> growing up in, in Michigan, obviously, uh, you know, uh, you know, in this this area of the the United States, or in, in you know, and obviously we're in Canada, but you know, this area of the of the or this region, anyways, um, has some of the biggest smallmouth on the planet, no doubt. And uh, that's what I'm talking about is is targeting and catching those big smallies. And when I say big, I mean you know, five pounds plus. Um, I had a couple of statistics in here and stuff that, that uh, I'll show you. That's it's pretty remarkable to think about. Um, you know, when you when you're talking about uh, you know the, the lifespan of a, a fish like that. Uh, you know, especially in the, you know this area. Um, you know, in the Great Lakes. You know, specifically. Um, but you'll see a couple a couple of repetitive things. But there's some other things that uh you know I'll kind of go into a little bit more depth in uh, with this as well. Um, Time of year is, is very important when targeting big smallmouth. Um, yeah, I'll take that. And again, uh, you know, when I say I'm talking four to, you know, well, four pounders a, a, a dang good smallie, but I'm talking five and bigger. The biggest smallmouth I've ever caught is eight four. Um, and I had a day, and I've got a picture on here too. I had one day where kind of all the stars aligned, and that's what you want to look for. And it was a, a there were springtime fish. Um, is the, that, in my opinion, is the best time to, to catch the, the biggest fish. Um, you know, the pre, you know, pre-spawn, uh, you know, staging type of fish are the ones where you're going to get the true giants. And I had a day uh, up north, and it's the Traverse City area. I won't tell you the lake. Sorry. <laughs> but it's one of my favorite lakes. I go there all the time, and honestly, I see maybe three or four other boats. Uh, you know, that, uh, you know, usually the ramp is empty. You might see two other boats that are fishing, and sometimes, you know, a lot of times they're walleye fishing or whatever. A couple smallmouth people, smallmouth fishing. Um, that this lake is really close to the lake, but uh, I had a uh, an eight eight four was my biggest one. I had a seven thirteen, a seven ten, a seven five, and a six fifteen. That was my, that was my best best five for. Uh, for smallies in a day, and I probably caught, it honestly was so stupid, it got to the point where uh, I was catching a four and a half or a five pounder, and, and all those fish I caught on jerk bait, which I'll talk about. Um, and I was just kind of, you know, I was boat flipping, uh, you know, five pounders, and, uh, and you know, kind of almost getting sick of them, you know, which is, is really, really sad to say. <laughs> the yeah. other thing is that people don't take note of and they don't pay as much attention to is clarity. And you know, I say it sounds funny, but um, so you look at a place like Lake Erie. Obviously, we had a, a giant algae bloom, uh, you know, this last year, and those fish don't like algae. Smallmouth, they want clear water. And, and I've in a, a tournament that I won on on Green Bay. If you followed that tournament, I was on a big school of of smallmouth, and they were kind of out on a point. Well, the wind had blown up the one day, and it just blew. This kind of stirred the bottom up. There was a little sediment in the water. Uh, you know, it went kind of all through the water column. And those fish don't like that. Those smallies don't like algae bloom. They don't like sediment being stirred in. Um, they like that clear water so they, they, you know, they feed and they, so they can see, uh, you know, and be able to, to uh, ambush bait. So what happened was is when I pulled up to my primary spot that I'd been catching them all week, uh, and it was a point you know, it was the size of this room, and it had, uh, you know, a little bit of a transition. Uh, it had deep water kind of out close. It was on the end of a point, had some scattered rock, and uh, it was a feeding spot, you know, with deep water close. And I'd go through there with a little bit of chop with a spinner bait and catch them really well. And then when it kind of chopped, leveled off, I'd throw a drop shot around, and I could see the fish. I mean, they were, it was in this deep of water. You know, they were in shallow water feeding, and I could see them. And, uh, we could probably pull some of that stuff up on, on YouTube, but we'll do that in a second. Um, well, the water had gotten dirty in my, my primary area on the end of my point. And uh, so I ran around. I was running around for four hours, five hours, and it was about noon. And I'm like, man, what in the world? You know, I didn't have a fish at this point. And it's the last day of the tournament. I was four ounces out, you know, off the lead. And... Uh, I run back, run back down to where I'd been primarily catching the, these fish. I'm like, they've got to be here somewhere close. So I tried going out a little bit deeper. You know, maybe they just fell out because the water was dirty. And honestly, I, I 
I ran all the way back down to where I started, put my trolling motor down, looked at the water, didn't make a cast, pulled it right back up, and then I went. I hope you enjoyed the preview clip, and for more like that and the entire collection, subscribe to the Bash University TV. And if you want the tackle that you see on there, I want you to go to the Bash University Tackle Shop, powered by Tackle Warehouse, and click right here, and it's all at your fingertips. Welcome to Bass University TV, an online video training course where you'll learn champion bass fishing techniques from pro anglers Pete Gluzek, Mike Iconelli, and their talented special guests. From on the water to in the classroom, you'll learn sound techniques and strong fundamental bass fishing skills. Watch hours of video content on multiple topics at your own pace for a low monthly fee. Cancel at any time. Information is power in the sport of fishing. So learn from the very best. Subscribe to Bass University TV today.